This video aims to show users how to add in horizontal structures. The process is the same, but there are now different commands for floors and ceilings. Before adding in the horizontal structure, please change the deck or ceiling layout modeling pair for that particular story. If you wish, please quick load the reference drawing for the walls of that story. Horizontal structures can be added either by choosing the floors or ceilings command from the modeling tab, or by simply right clicking to bring up the context sensitive menu and choosing the add floor command. If a structure has been previously added, then that type will automatically be selected. However, this is easily changed using the Select Material from List command. Next, choose the structure type, then click OK, noting that the process is the same regardless of the type, just that the available libraries and default insertion height within the model will be different. If the structure type hasn't been used before, the library for the relevant one will automatically appear. Note that you should have previously selected default floor or ceiling types in the 3D levels and these defaults will automatically be selected when the default button is pressed. In the contextual toolbar are various options for adding in the structure. In this example we are adding in a floor in the 2D drawing. So I want to ensure that it is added via the top plane of the floor so it finishes with the finished floor level. And I add via selecting points to enable better shape control. If you wish to add in 3D, it would probably be easier to use the Add Using Walls function, which has a secondary contextual toolbar allowing automatic wall selection, and if the structure is going to the exterior or interior edge of the frame. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.